The creators of the glory really knew what they were doing because even those with the sharpest eye for detail might have missed a thing or two. For starters, there's a very important sign in the background when Dongun and Dooyoung meet at the place where they play Go. During a live stream held on the 8th of March, director An Gil Ho revealed that this particular scene received an amazing response. When Dooyoung enters the Go Institute, there's a sign right behind him that reads, Be careful of fire. Most viewers have probably already noticed that fire is a very prominent element in the drama. Gilho revealed that he didn't decide to shoot the scene like that on purpose, but the sign was there by chance and it unintentionally strengthened the meaning behind the meeting of the characters. He said, I decided to shoot the scene without removing the sign and it received a great response from the audience. Writer Gi Moon Suk further shared that she actually put in quite a lot of effort to write this scene. The shooting of it also took pretty long, but the fact that the sign was unintentionally in the background was really the cherry on top. Throughout the two parts of the drama, we've seen how big of a role fire plays in Dongun's life. At the very beginning of the show, we learn that Dongun lives by the saying, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Keeping that in mind, this could have easily meant that Dongun was now the one with the lighter in her hand and that anyone crossing her would definitely get burnt, including Dooyoung. Speaking of fire, isn't it very fitting that Dongun's mother was the last flame that she had to put out to achieve her peace? Her mother quite literally represented fire after dyeing her hair bright orange and having somewhat of a fierce personality in a bad way. She only came back into Dongun's life to toss her aside for money. She was the first person to let Dongun down and somehow also the last. In the scene where Dongun cuts up the clothes that her mother bought with the money she earned by betraying her, it becomes very clear that her mother was actually the main perpetrator all along. Once the fire starts, Dongun starts thanking her mother for never changing, confirming that she too has always been cruel. This was quite literally the last fire Dongun had to put out to end her revenge because right after, she admitted her mother to the mental hospital and finally closed that chapter for good. Another aspect about Dongun's trauma you might not have noticed is that she's sensitive to some foods after what happened to her. The first time she meets with myung the two are sat at a restaurant and warm meat is served. myung is confused when she doesn't eat anything and even asks her why she's not eating. At first, you may think that this is because she doesn't really have a strong appetite or it's because she strongly dislikes myung so she obviously wouldn't want to have food with him. However, another Another scene confirms the fact that warm meat and the sound of sizzling meat in particular are a big trigger for Dongun. In the scene in which she's in the garage and sees someone grilling meat, she hears the sound of sizzling flesh and probably smells it too, and immediately after, she experiences a panic attack. It's no surprise that this is triggering for her as it reminds her of the times Yeonjin burnt her with a hot iron. This just shows that Eunsuk paid a lot of attention to writing Dongun's trauma as authentically as possible. Next up is another minor detail that actually told us a lot about how the plot of the show would play out. None of us will ever forget the scene in which Dongun shows Yeo her scars as it left a very strong impression with viewers. However, what happens afterwards is a very important clue that went mostly unnoticed. We saw how Dongun was missing a button on her shirt and Yeo took off a button of his own to sew it into Dongun's blouse. This happens to be a black button, which looks awfully similar to a black go stone. After part one of the drama was released, a fan took to Twitter to explain how this was symbolic of the fact that Yeo Dong would be Dong Moon's headsman of her revenge plan. They wrote, This must be the scene that shows how Du Yeo Dong plays the role of Moon Dong Moon's black stone. In an interview with Netflix, Yi Do Hyun even confessed that this was a detail fans should pay attention to. He said, There's a scene where I sew a button for Dong Moon. You must watch the drama to see how important that button is. When it comes to symbolism, there's a lot of it in the glory. Even Yeon Jin's sparkly green heels have a meaning of their own. You may have noticed that every Every time she wears them, something terrible happens. At the beginning of the show, we see that Dooyoung gifts his wife these embezzled green heels for her birthday. Usually, male love interests give their wives some sort of shoes, mostly red or white heels. Eunsuk revealed the reason behind the choice of green heels. She said, I chose green because it suited the personal color of the top of Yeonjin's feet. The shoes had a secret, didn't it? And it's true, these particular shoes actually carry many of Yeonjin's secrets. She wore them when she got into a fight with myung injuring him very badly. Although she wasn't the one to actually take his life, she thinks she did. We see her rubbing the heels frantically with rubbing alcohol, trying to hide the crime that she just committed. The next secret has everything to do with the fact that Ye Sol isn't actually Do Young's biological daughter. In one of the scenes, Ye Sol is seen playing around in her mother's closet, putting on her green heels. The maid asks her to take them off, but first she asks if the shoes are green. She then quickly takes back her question to say they're actually red. This reveals that Ye Sol is 
colorblind, and considering that Daejun is also colorblind, it confirms that he's her biological father. This was also already hinted at at the first episode when Dongun meets Yeso on the playground and asks her, is it because when the world is upside down, people will understand you even if you can't tell some colors apart? Did you know that Myungo and Haejong's disloyalty to Yeonjin was also foreshadowed in the very first episode of the series? In episode one, there is a flashback to when Yeonjin's mother picked her up from the police station. She says something along the lines of, the shaman told you to avoid people with O's in their names because they'd bring you bad luck. She was kind of right since Myungo and Haejong eventually played a big role in Yeonjin's downfall. In the second part of the series, we watch how the two eventually agree to help Dongun in carrying out her revenge. Although, it didn't end well for those two either. It turns out that there is actually a lot more that the first episode showed that you might have missed. For instance, Dongun predicted exactly how Yeonjin would break into her apartment in episode one. She imagines her entering the place with her shoes on and even scolds her. In episode eight, Dongun's imagination actually becomes reality. Yeonjin breaks into her place in her heels, just as expected. It's clear that the director has an eye for detail, but the way he shot certain scenes suggests that they were actually hints. Near the end of the show, we learn that Kyungdon was actually the one behind Myongo's passing. The major plot twist was that she was also tormented by him and all the others during their school years. Fans already started to speculate that she was going to play a role in Dongun's revenge since nobody gets that amount of screen time for no reason in a drama like this. We watch her work as a stylist for both Jaejun and Yeonjin, but what's even more remarkable is that every time she's on screen, the camera zooms in on her reactions. It's like the director tried to hint at the fact that she knows something through the cinematography. For example, when Yeonjin walks into the store, the camera zooms in on Kyungdong's face after she looks at the band-aid on Yeonjin's foot. Later in the series, we find out that she was actually aware that Yeonjin and Myungo had a fight because she was there. The same thing happened when Dongun went to Daejun's store to meet Myungo. When she and Kyungdong looked at each other, the shot was a little longer, revealing that there was something more behind those looks. The last detail is actually kind of mind-blowing and connects everything together. When Dongun arrives at her new apartment in episode one, the landlord shows her around. She pays specific attention to two flowers, namely the devil's and angel's trumpet. These two flowers are both poisonous, but have played a symbolic role even in the promotion of the series. On the individual posters, every character on Dongun's side has a devil's trumpet in the background, suggesting that they will help her with her revenge. On the other hand, the perpetrators have an angel's trumpet in the background. This foreshadowed that Dooyoung would eventually turn against Yeonjin which he did. The fact that it was Dongun's landlord who introduced those flowers makes it even more special, considering that we find out at the end of the show that the two meant a lot for each other in the past. She kept the flowers blooming until Dongun finally got the justice she deserved. Those were all the things that you might have missed in the glory. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye!